is just boring. It's amazing how little color can make a plain dress pop. You will need the following tools and materials. To learn how to make those lollipop flowers, check the info box for links. A roll of ribbon, one yard of elastic band, fabric scissors, needles and thread, measuring tape, and fabric pencil. You want to make sure the elastic band and the ribbon are in the same width. Mine is a little bit off. Take the measuring tape and measure your waistline. Once you find your measurements, subtract 5 inch off from it. That's going to be the length for your elastic band. You want the elastic band to be smaller than your waistline. So when you wear it, it will hug security on your body. Cut two strips of ribbon, one yard each. Have your needle and thread ready and form a knot at the base of the thread. Extend one inch and a half of ribbon over the elastic band. Fold the ribbon over hugging the elastic band like a taco shell hugging a lettuce. Just use your needle and thread and going back and forth and quilt them together. I use a fabric pencil to mark the outlines of where I want my needlework to be. If you own a sewing machine and know how to use it, this would be the perfect time to use it. It would save you a lot of work. Unfortunately, I don't know how to use a sewing machine. As you can see, if you follow the rectangular patterns, the ribbon will be securely attached to the elastic band. Now just repeat the same steps. to use different sizes of lollipop flowers. You can set the flower on top of the elastic band to see what kind of pattern you would like. Have your needle and thread ready and form a knot at the base. Take your first lollipop flower and poke it through the base. Work your needle and poke it through the top of the flower. Now take your needle and poke it through where you want your flower to be. From the base of the elastic band, poke it through the center of the flower. Poke it through the center of the flower again. You want the strings to be at the back. This will help to hide the knots that's created by stopping the thread. Continue using the same method with the rest of the flower. Of course, if you're not comfortable with using needle and thread, you can always use fabric glue. I just prefer to use needle and thread because they seem more sturdy. You can use the flowers to overlap and hide where the elastic band and the ribbons connect. When you fill your entire belt with lollipop flower, then you're done. The easiest way to put on this belt is to tie in front of you, and then move it around. You can trim the length of the ribbon to your desire. You work hard for this belt, so have fun with it! Your own creation is one of a kind, so play around with different colors and material. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial.